Hey guys, it's John, Michael, Big Boy TV. Uh, so, today uh, it's a Sunday, it's gloomy out. Um, the last episode we went to uh, the Badlands in Attica, Indiana, and the whole reason that um, it took a little bit to uh, release another video because we had a lot of changes to make. Um, I'm learning about this just as much as I'm trying to teach you guys about this. Um, so that's really uh, the reason for this channel. Um, this is just about done. I mean, we are right to the end. All right, so we got this turned around. Uh, right out the gate, don't mind. I know that there's two different tires. Uh, there's actually two different wheels on the back here. I'm not driving it. Um, that's just on there because I am waiting to get a piece repowder coated. Um, on the wheel and then I'll put it back on um, so let's go ahead and do a little walk around here what we got going on all right so here you have it the x3 um, we raised the front considerably I got some decent uh, let me get to the front here sorry I'm used to using my phone this has such a wide angle on it um, we got some good angle um, to the A-arms, um, and I upgraded uh, here the UV lights. That's a 10 and a half inch. Uh, it's a little tight getting it in there, but it is possible. Um, one thing I had to do was these uh, brackets here. I did have to, I chopped them. I don't know if you can see, it's not a very good weld, but get in there I did chop them I reversed and then I just re-welded the feet back on um, you know if you had to pay somebody I'd say like 20 bucks to get it done <laughs> to me it was worth it these lights are great um, I haven't had them so uh, that's one change number two change was obviously we upgraded wheels and tires uh, I got some 33 inch BF Goodrich mud terrain TA on a Elba Racing um, three piece and I mean this company was great to work with um, fast shipping tracking I mean everything was done on time um, it had one small issue where the wrong center was sent to me which you can see on that far wheel um, had that sent back um, to them they sent me a new one it's getting repowdered done here It'll be done by Tuesday, I think the said, which then that'll be tied up. And then he'll have the last of the last wheel that I have to put together for my spare. So um, that's one of the changes. Got great height. I'm at 17, let's see, I'm at 17 and a half inches front and rear um, for uh, ground clearance now. So, I mean, to me, we'll see how it handles. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Memorial Day weekend, we're going to Dresser, Wisconsin to um, the Minnesota Go Big uh, event up at Trollhagen uh, Ski Resort up there. So we're going to do that. So, um, you know, we'll see how it uh, does there, and then I'll go ahead and report back to you guys and let you know the changes that we do from that point. Um, but as from Attica till now, um, I got rid of the plastic roof, and I got a metal with quick-release uh, tabs on it. Just little quarter turn, they pop off. Phenomenal. I was tired of taking the bolts in and out. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem like you take them off all that much, but um, you know, I did. Uh, I used to have the SMB particle separate. We did have to notch the piece, which one would have been here. You can kind of see the rubbing, and then one over pieces for it. Um, we notched in so that we could raise it up high enough. We could not get the angle that we wanted, and then when you raise this up, you were always hitting. So in order to fix that, um, I ripped off the roof at that, and then I remounted the s &B in there. Now, it is tight fit. They told me it couldn't be. I just want to say it can be done. It just takes some patience. Uh, like, I don't even know really what to say other than, you know, see it, it's mounted. It is there right now. I mean, it's it's tight in there. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, one of the things I did have an issue with was when we got it, 
they put like a PVC um, stop. I don't even know PVC like plumbing type 90 degree elbow and then they ran it up and around we were having rubbing issues up in here with the pipe coming up over to here um, just a few problems one when we got home obviously um, with us going to town and cleaning um, or getting muddy I super OCD about having it clean I mean vacuum clean the floors I mean I really tore this apart <laughs> um, to the point that my dad's like, I want you to remember that every single time, uh, you know, you decide to go mud and it's just how much work it was to clean it, which I'm fine with, you know, mud's part of it. So, um, but was able to shorten up the pipe. I did get some mud in there down. There was a little bit on the filter. I mean, not much by any means. I should have taken some video to show you guys, but I would not worry about it at all. Um, pulled the clutch cover off checked everything in there see that some water um, muddy water was kind of like some resides but overall the belt and everything looked clean so I just went with it um, we'll see how it does in the future here so that is one change I'll go ahead and pop this up so there you go now you can see it's mounted in there but it's nice doesn't rub I mean it's perfect I'm concerned I can still have the particle separator um, have my tire rack for me that's uh, you can eat in it too so here we are open this up there you have it there's the cooler um, I'll get started on that um, here in a few minutes so uh, let's see what else um, oh there's a full SCS wrap on this Go ahead and give me your opinions. I'll give you the walk around of it Really sucks to have to do this video without all the wheels on but um Due to time constraints working and having to finish up it's just something i got to do so as you can see uh this by <laughs> by any means this is not a show quality wrap job i did in the garage um using rapid tack uh, solution you know i mean i tried hard i took my time it took me a week to put this wrap on just so you know how much patience and time I took trying not to rush it. There's a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, but I still ended up with bubbles in it. Some there. Uh, I'm trying to see if, I don't know if you can see that or not. There, there you can. All right, so there, you can see like there's little bubbles like that. Um, in the door and the weird part was is when I squeegeed it like the big pieces they actually looked flat and then as I kept working my way around the vehicle you know following their guide it like I'm assuming what would happen is the rap attack would build up and then it would kind of create a little bit of an air bubble um, some people said it was because I wasn't squeegeeing hard enough I felt I was squeegeeing to the point that um, there's a few spots where I thought there were some scratches left in the matte finish. So, um, in between, obviously, it's uh, there's a lot of angles on this, so you can see, like, you get down in here, there's a lot of little pieces. They get chopped, you know, trimmed out to fit. Um, but at 15, 20 feet away, you know, it it's great. It's a great vehicle. So, let's call her a 20-footer for right now. If I'm going to redo this... Um, me to you and this by no means is a bash on SCS but obviously it's all in the eyes of the beholder I would not uh, go with another wrap <laughs> I think the next vehicle since we're going to tear, tear it completely down outer coat the whole frame you know I like to stand out you know big personality type stuff I want to has so if we're gonna tear it all apart I'm just gonna send the plastics out to get painted not have to worry about it anymore um, 
Are the plastics going to hold up? Yep. Most likely not. One trip to the Badlands um, with the trees rubbing on it, branches. I mean, there was some scratches in it, but that's part of the game. Um, of why it's build it, make it look nice, and let's go ahead and hammer down on it and have have some fun. Uh, so take your pick. You can let me know what your thoughts are. If you think it looks good, I personally, up close, I'm a very nitpicky person. I just um, far away. It's you know, I think it does what I wanted it to, which was give the body a full color to make the shocker yellow stand out. So there you have it. Those are the, uh, I guess, the tweaking that we did, you know, as far as suspension, the new wheels, the roof. I moved the uh, SMB particle separator, and now we're going to go ahead and um, get to um, da -dum -dum, uh, putting the how many bottles I can fit inside the cooler so you guys can decide if you want to spend uh, three, four hundred dollars whatever the price is on the cooler. So, all right, let's get to it. we did you know as far as suspension the new wheels the roof I moved the uh, SMB particle separator and now we're gonna go ahead and um, get to um, da -dum -dum, uh, putting the how many bottles I can fit inside the cooler so you guys can decide if you want to spend uh, three four hundred dollars whatever the price is on the cooler so all right all right guys here we have it that is full of water, no ice. Honestly, if we're gonna put ice, I'd take these top four out as I drop one. Three, four, all right. I take those four out. Nice layer of ice across the top. Let it, you know, work its way in. Um, I think that's gonna be your best bet. So I guess let's go ahead and uh, let's get a count. So, <laughs> all right, so we have two. Like 21 bottles. 20 and one. All right. All right, guys. So there. You um. It is now empty. We got 21 bottles. Um. It'd be 25 bottles if you don't want any ice. If you want to put a small layer across, which I like cold water. <laughs> um. I would do 21 bottles and then just leave a nice. Uh, Roll ice across the top of it, let it work its way down. Go from there. So, um, yeah. Whether or not you think it's worth it, um, I can let you know. We're about to go on a three day uh, deal, a three day cruise with it. My thought process be to me, it's worth it because I can throw it in, I know I can put the ice in it. Um, and for those three days, I've got cold water. I mean, 20 some bottles that'll last me about a day and a half. Stickly. So, um, you know, let me know your thoughts, guys. Leave it in the comments. Um, as always, if you like the content, subscribe. If you want to see stuff or have questions, um, just go ahead and just let me know. Uh, I'm more than willing to take the time and get these videos done for you. Because when I was looking, <laughs> when I was looking for this X3, there was hardly any information. I mean, you can go see people like beating on them and, you know, hot rod and just having fun, which is, you know, yeah, but um, for me, it's like, I'm a big guy. Am I going to fit in it? Is it comfortable? Um, again, you know, the suspension, it's like, 
all right, I bought something. I thought, it, you know, it claims that it comes with or has 15 inches of ground clearance. Um, you know, but that's something that's not set up by Can-Am. So you got to come in. You got to ra- do the raising yourself. Um, there was a video with Fox Racing um, where they talk about the suspension on this and where it should be set at. Um, I did go above and beyond what I had recommended. But again, just uh, it's personal personal preference. So... You know, I'm looking more for trail riding machine, you know, rock crawling. You know, I just, I enjoy the off-road, the hills, but, you know, I don't mind getting into the dunes a little bit here and there, but I I just don't have one thing that this is, like, focused for. It's kind of an all-around type machine. So, yeah, um, like I said, any questions, um, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and let's keep this uh, moving forward. You know, there's... I'm not trying to add, you know, ads and make money off of this. I want everybody to have the knowledge and be able to do the work on the machine themselves and, you know, make the best choice possible with the options that you have available to you. So there you have it. Um, again, thank you. I don't know if you guys can see me, but thank you. And I look forward to doing some more videos and, you know, let's take this to the next level. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Again, thank you. I don't know if you guys can see me, but thank you. And I look forward to doing some more videos and, you know, let's take this to the next level. All right. Have a good one. Bye.